This is the story of Dr. Fantastic and the Bee Fantastic Philosophy. It's in darkness, so just please enjoy the audio recording. There are seven billion people on the planet, each and every one of them with a fantastic story. This is mine. I hope you can take the time to listen because I promise you, no, I guarantee you, you will learn how to look better, feel better, live longer, be more successful in business and in personal relationships, and help make the world a kinder, better place. My name is Lester Monta Cook III, and I'm known as Dr. Fantastic because I've developed the prescription for a happier and longer life, and I'm going to give it to you today as I've given it to thousands of people in the past. It's called the Be Fantastic Philosophy, and I'm happy to say that I've personally introduced it to and they have accepted it and are following the three commitments to 4,075 people. I have over 190 volunteers around the world that have formed WhatsApp groups to help spread the three commitments to kindness. And they, they work. So I wanted to tell you who I am and tell you my story so you could understand how I developed the philosophy and how it gives it credence and uh, validity. Now, in the last two years, I left California and traveled extensively and I'm now in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt, one of the most fantastic places on the planet. Why did I leave two years ago? Well, COVID broke out, and the government told me to stay in my home. And I've never been able to accept what people told me to what to do. And so I felt it was a great time to go out into the world again. 50 years later, because at 17, I left my foster home and hitchhiked around the world for my education. So I attended the school of hard knocks. I've met tens and tens of thousands of people and learned from each one of them and combined them into my philosophy today. So today I'm a, I am a motivational speaker, a philosopher, a life coach, a published author, and uh, as I tell you my story, many, many other things. So two years ago, I packed up my favorite fork, my favorite spoon, my favorite knife, because I'm a foodie, a couple bags of clothes, put it in my car, said goodbye to a 38-year marriage. Kids are grown and off on their own anyway. And uh, I set out to introduce to the world, as my gift to the world, the three commitments to kindness. I went through 22 states each and every day making a video because most people were quarantined and they couldn't see what the world looked like. So I was lucky enough to interview people make videos of national parks, museums, fantastic events. And uh, so today I, I want to tell you my story and hopefully it will change your life as it has thousands of others. Well, I was born into, into the lap of luxury. Beverly Hills, California, 1954. A whole different world back then. My mother, an actress, gorgeous woman, 
my father, a producer, my uncle, her brother, uh, an Academy Award winning producer. So I was born in the entertainment industry. But two years later, my father disappeared and my mother disillusioned from high society, rightly so, fell in love with an artist, an abstract expressionist, a beatnik. And we moved, my sister and I, with uh, my mother and Artie, to Venice, California, not far away, but the poorest area of town. Artists were not respected back then. So we lived, you know, very poorly in the poorest areas of town. We traveled a lot because he painted for rent. We were featured in Life magazine back then, living in Venice. And even they put us down. It was called Beatsville versus Squaresville. Our family in Venice, California, and another family in Kansas. We then moved to Hill. Uh, we, then we moved to Topanga Canyon. Today, a very expensive place to live. They're free. Then we moved to San Francisco, Portrell. Portrero Hill, then a very poor area, now an extremely expensive place to live. And a few more places in San Francisco. And then we finally moved to Hillsburg, California, and lived in a commune. Fantastic. No uh, electricity, no running water, three families in a commune. It was wonderful. Now, the most expensive place you can live uh, in, in, uh, in that area. Unfortunately, things went bad. Our house burned down, 10,000 acres. He committed suicide, and my mother died six months later from worrying. So then I was thrown into middle-class America back in Los Angeles, in the valley. So my perspective on life is very quite unique, I think. And it's allowed me to be comfortable with the richest people in the world and the poorest, the smartest and the dumbest. And I've, I've combined all those experiences into my philosophy on life. And it's really helping a lot of people. And I think it'll help you too. So let's get started. There are three commitments in life that I encourage people to follow. The first commitment is to be kind to yourself. First and foremost, you come first. You must love yourself. Now the analogy I like to use is on an aircraft, if it's having an emergency and the oxygen mask drops, you're told to put it on first, then help others. Because you come first. People say, no, my kids come first. No, my, my spouse comes first. My family comes first. If you're not there for them, you can't help them. So you come first. Now, in, I'm going to go through the three commitments and explain why it's important to be kind and how you should be kind. So, how do you... How can you be kind to yourself? Again, believe in yourself. Love yourself. Know that you don't need to have curly hair when you have straight hair or vice versa. If you don't love yourself, you can't expect someone else to love you. So being kind to yourself means to eat healthy. Means to exercise. Means to perhaps meditate. And you can meditate for one minute or 20 seconds. You don't have to meditate for an hour. It's important to calm yourself and ground yourself. You know, walk barefoot in the sand or on the ground. It's called earthing. It's very healthy. Do things for you. Spoil yourself. 
That doesn't mean be greedy or selfish, but be kind to yourself. Now, um, just so you know, all my recordings over the last two years have never been a second take and never a rehearsal and never um, an edit. It's me talking from the heart, explaining what I know, and sharing my philosophies. So sometimes I'll stutter, sometimes I'll repeat myself, but bear with me, because this will change your life. Uh, so being kind to yourself is the number one commitment in life. Now I might go back to it because I might have forgotten a few things, <laughs> but uh, let's go through it to the second commitment. We live with 7 billion people out there. So we must be kind to all others, including God's creatures. I saw a little boy kicking a dog the other day. He needs to be taught to pet the dog. Being kind to others means you're not going to lie. Lying is a horrible thing. It leads to nothing but trouble. Because you have to remember your lies. Don't cheat. Why would you cheat? I call it the game of life. You don't need to cheat to win. Just be kind. Steal. Stealing from others is very unkind and not right. Argue. There's never an argument that's going to lead to something. When your friend wants to argue, or your spouse, or someone, tell them they're right. It drives people crazy. Because we all want to argue. And arguing typically is because you, you want attention. Fighting. Do not fight. There's many people in prison over a stupid fight, a meaningless fight, that ended up in someone getting hurt badly or dying. Road rage. That's, that's fighting. We need to control our emotions and not fight and argue. And of course, raping and slavery and killing and wars, those are the worst unkind things. We must be kind to all others, including the creatures. Don't eat endangered species. Don't buy exotic woods or ivory or leathers that are destroying beautiful things for the sake of money. We must be accountable for our actions. So we must be kind to all others. Imagine stopping wars. So let's say we're following the, the two commitments and life is beautiful. Well, if we can't breathe, it's not, gonna be, it's not a good situation. So we must be kind to our planet. Being kind to our planet is protecting our environment. It means not littering, not polluting, using less water, using less electricity, buying less crap. I like to make it real simple. If you use one-third less toothpaste each day to brush your teeth, it's going to last three times longer. It's going to cost you one-third the money. And it's going to be one-third less trash that's filling up our, our environment with dumps of garbage. Oh, my goodness. 4.7 trillion cigarette butts get thrown on the ground each year, one at a time. Many of them have caused forest fires, death, and destruction. There's an island of plastic in the Pacific, bigger than Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt. Much bigger than that. Bigger than a state, I've told. And those plastic bottles were thrown on the ground one at a time. We must take accountability for our actions. The world will be a better place.
Well, again, like I say, it's not scripted, and there's so many things that I want to share with people. And uh, my advice seems to work. Saved many lives. I've mentored many people. I've launched many careers. And I'm happy to say it makes me feel wonderful to give advice. According to this recording, it's only 15 minutes. I just want to talk for an hour and a half on this. <laughs> let's, let's, let's keep it short uh, at 15 minutes. Have a fantastic day. Oh, now I remember. It used to be four commitments. The fourth commitment was say kind words. And I realized we don't say kind words to our furniture or our car. We say kind words, or should say kind words, to people. Well, one of the kindest words you could say is the word fantastic. It tells people to have a fantastic day, or they did a fantastic job. Because the word fantastic makes you smile. And the smile releases endorphins, dopamine, and serotonin, these neuromessaging units that make you feel fantastic. Of course, a smile makes you look fantastic. Everyone looks better with a smile. A smile is contagious and uh, it's very healthy. They have smile classes and laughing classes. Because when you smile, you extend your life by five minutes, according to science, because it reduces stress. And when you laugh, you extend your life, life by an hour because it reduces much more stress. So saying the word fantastic, which is part of the be fantastic philosophy, is very healthy because it carries with it energy, positivity, kindness, and love. Watch what happens when you say it. It lightens up rooms. People will hire you if you're fantastic. But I'm really trying to encourage people to say have a fantastic day. That would be incredible. And it's working here in Charm, where I have over 800 ambassadors of kindness. Again, I have 4,075 people I've personally introduced it to. Now, there's about a quarter of a million people that know of the Be Fantastic philosophy from watching my videos. Uh, I think my most popular video has 76 thousand views uh, but there's many social media channels that I'm expressing the three commitments in from you know Facebook to Instagram to Twitter to Telegram to TikTok all expressing the three commitments to kindness and I say try it's not easy to to be kind to yourself at times. Oh, well, I don't look so good today. No, that's not being kind. Well, well, I can't do that. That's not being kind. So, follow those three commitments. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Be kind to our planet. The world will be a better place. It's people, one person at a time, that's going to make a difference. Individuals cause the problem, the pollution, the greed out there. So one person can make a difference. You can make a difference. Anyway, this recording is being made at 2 in the morning. <laughs> I had to get it out because I want to... I want to... Tell people what's going on. I've lived the most amazing life. I've met the richest people in the world and the poorest. You know, the most expensive yachts in the world, the, the, the largest mansions, many countries, so many fantastic things. And I want to see more. I want to learn more. I want to teach more. So I'm on a journey. 
two years this week old. And uh, luckily I've recorded most every day. The first 550 days, I didn't go a day without making a video for YouTube. Be fantastic channel. So that's my memory. Because <laughs> I really have a problem with memory. I suffer from CRS, debilitating disease. It stands for can't remember shit. And I don't know why I remember certain things and why I don't. You know, there was a time in, uh, in America on my journey where I met a young man at a hostel in Nashville, and he traveled with me. He wanted to try to learn, so I took him on as a mentor. And I think it was a month we traveled together every day, new experiences. And for the life of me, I can't remember his name. It's just bizarre to me. I met a lot of people in my life. <laughs> Here in Charm, with 800 ambassadors, they, they walk up to me, don't you remember me? <laughs> it's like, uh, it's not easy. Not easy. Well, I hope you're enjoying what you're hearing. I hope you follow the three commitments to kindness. You can join any of our WhatsApp groups around the world, 68 country groups and over 100 city groups. And it's all about positivity and kindness. No politics, no religion, no business. Just positive sayings. Every day I release a positive, inspirational, motivational quote. One from a famous person and one from myself. And uh, that's what I'm doing. I know I forgot something because it's again I don't script these, but I thought maybe an audio recording would be kind of fun. Have a fantastic day. Welcome to the Be Fantastic channel where you will find many fantastic interviews with amazing people. Visit the top world museums, incredible zoos, beautiful national parks, special events and much more. These videos are designed to educate, inspire, motivate and entertain you. We hope you will enjoy them. Join the Be Fantastic philosophy. Please subscribe, like and share. Overpopulated cities around the world have caused people to become a greedy, selfish, and litigious society. Would you like to be happier, live longer, never be forgotten, and help make the world a kinder, more civil place? It's actually easier than you think. Every day you're asked, how are you? Instead of saying good, say, I am fantastic. It will make you look better, feel great, and reduce your stress. Making the world a better place starts with each person. Please join the Be Fantastic movement today.